So I was out walking the dogs this morning and it was a really cold winter day and I thought to myself, hmm, what would be fun to do on a cold winter day? I know, create a solar death ray. Okay, so I wanted to test uh, a new, uh, essentially Fresnel lens that um, I've pulled out of an old TV to see if it's going to be uh, usable for, for different solar applications. So uh, this, this is essentially what it looks like. Uh, it's just out of an old Junker TV. Um, so let me uh, show you a little bit about what you can actually do with, uh, with some of these lenses. So I'm just holding the, holding the lens like this and it concentrates sunlight down to a particular point and that might not be very impressive the way that it is but let me show you what that's actually doing At least grade five welding goggles whenever you're doing this because that spot is insanely bright it is insanely bright so essentially that spot right there is as you can see it's already starting to cook the uh, to cook the meat so let me bring the lens in a little bit closer so the heat isn't quite as intense, it's not forming a spot, but you can kind of heat the whole pan a little bit better that way. Now obviously to do this correctly you would have the, uh, the lens on some type of frame, some type of wooden frame that you could essentially just mount it towards the uh, you know where it faces the sun obviously and you can kind of adjust it according to what temperature you want if you want it super hot you just put it on the just put it on the spot like that right there I keep that spot on there too long it'll start to burn it I probably should have preheated the, uh, the pan up a little bit before I started doing this the long tongs on this one because I don't want to get burned. If I polished this lens a little bit and kind of prepped it, it would generate much, much higher temperatures, probably closer to somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 degrees depending on the, uh, the quality of the lens. You can literally melt steel with, uh, with these lenses. You can create your own uh, essentially metal foundry or metal smelter. Um, if you've got a really good lens, it will literally melt rock. You can create glass out of rock. You can turn it into obsidian. It, it can get so hot. Um, you have to be extremely careful when you're reaching into you know to your target area so you don't. Uh, and you know, fry your hand. I mean, if that beam hits your hand, it'll bubble it instantly. Alright, so let's see. Oh, yeah. 
So you can see it's already it's already thawed. Ow, God, the pan's hot. So again. Show you how hot this thing will get. So essentially there's all kinds of applications that, you know, once once you have this all set up under a, uh, uh, you know, some type of um, wooden mount system where you can kind of angle it, you know, towards the sun and rotate it uh, to keep that focal point right on the, on your target. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you could do it. You, you could, uh, you can boil water, you can uh, heat water if you wanted to run water into a swimming pool or even into your house or there's even ways that you could, you know, heat a, a greenhouse with it. Um, Obviously, you can you can cook with it, um, melt, melt and smelt all kinds of uh, metals. Um, there's tons tons of different applications that uh, that you could use for it. You could uh, you know use it as a, a solar death ray and fry your neighbor's cat if you wanted to. Um, but seriously, uh, you know if you if you get a hold of one of these lenses, um, be very very careful with it. I mean, if you pass your hand through that focal point even just for a second, it it will absolutely bubble the skin on your hand so uh, be very very careful with these um, you don't want to just uh, even just putting them putting them inside your house if there's sunlight coming through your through your window I mean, you'll burn, burn your house down in a second <laughs> if you're not if you're not careful with these things so um, anyway I um, hope you enjoyed that um, just a little tinkering around here in the yard uh, once I get this a frame built for this um, I'll actually be able to, to use it a little bit easier um, Maybe I'll, uh, I'll cook us a steak or something like that. So.